If you want to cast a personal device to a ViewSonic board, begin by pressing the Home button on the front panel. This will bring up a purple menu, and you'll notice we have two apps here. We have the My View Board Display app, and we have the ViewCast app. The My View Board Display app is a faster way to cast. If you tap this, it'll bring up a website you can type into your computer. The display code is unique to the room. So this display code will always be the same in the same classroom you teach. The one-time passcode resets every 30 seconds. Once you've navigated to the website and you've entered these two codes, you can begin casting your device. This app is fast and easy to use. However, you won't retain the ability to use the touch controls on the ViewSonic monitor. You'll need to control your PowerPoint and all of your presentation materials from your laptop. Coming back to our home screen here, the other option is to tap the VCast Sender app. When you tap this, you'll notice that we get a big display code. This requires putting the app onto your laptop, which there are instructions on how to do that in the comments of this video. One thing to make sure of is you have to be on the same network as is the ViewSonic board. It says here that we're on Purple Haze, so my laptop will also have to be on Purple Haze. Once I've tapped VCast and gotten this code, on my laptop I open the VCast Sender app and then I just enter this code. From here I tap the Cast button and now my laptop will display on the screen. Using the VCast Sender app is a little more complicated because you need to download the app in the beginning. However, the benefit to it is now I do retain my touch controls.